So I did note that uh, you and I share a first uh, first album. I do not believe that we are alone in any way in this, but that Elton John Greatest Hits album. Uh, my really? was your first. That was my first. Also, my, okay. first, my first rock show yeah. was uh, Elton on the... Philadelphia Freedom Tour, nineteen seventy-six. I think it, I think it was. Uh, I think Lane's first concert was, was Elton John too. I think his dad took him to the when he was just him and a piano, mm -hmm. and I think maybe early on maybe, with the trio, maybe, maybe yeah, D. Yeah, Murray, and maybe. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so I get that as a as a starting point mm -hmm. into all of this. But tell me, you had some, you know, you I don't know if you closed that circle, but you had some dealings with Elton um, through all of this. What was uh, I don't even know how did all that go down. Well, he's a big he's a big musical thread. Uh, that band in particular, and the writing team, uh, not just Elton's music and voice, but the 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 lyrics of Bernie Taupin. And uh, God, I mean, it's just I I uh, I got emotion early from a kid, and and it always kind of spoke to me. But but he was one of the first artists. Maybe I was just old enough, and it hit me at the right time, you know, and, and where I could actually start to kind of understand some of the lyrics and the, the kind of poetry and you know uh the the storytelling and and, and uh, uh the feelings that i was getting from it and like and make the connection of like man that's a cool thing to do you know i'd like to be able to do that and uh and there was a handful of bands in those early years and and he was one of them and you know over the years we've we've developed uh, you know, a little bit of a friendship. I, I don't know him well, but but he's always really super warm to us, and and uh, you know, go to go to his shows and see him, and and uh, it was a big decision for the band to 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 decide to continue on. You know, after after the loss of Lane, and and we we went through that process together, and invited William in, and and I wrote this song. I felt needed to be written it was black gives way to blue the the title track to that record and you know it's basically saying goodbye to lane and 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 hello to our future and honoring all of that and uh it's just a little short two minute tune but it's very very impactful and very emotional and it needed to be said and uh goodbye coincidentally which is another song the which closes Madman Across the Water, which I covered and ended my record with, um, is another song like that. It's kind of tailored like that. It's Black Gives Way to Blue is also the last song mm -hmm. in that record. It's that sort of sort of a thing. And I didn't intentionally, like you know, form it like that. But now I look at it back. I look back at it, and there's some connection to those two songs. And uh, you know, I we asked Elton to play piano on it. And he did, and that was that was pretty heavy. You know, to have him have him play on that record and um i've always liked that song and we did a couple of songs at the pico union uh this little church uh pico union project i think it was called in los angeles i believe in december of 19 i think and uh uh we closed both of those shows with goodbye and it was just a cool closer i've always liked that tune and when when we were wrapping the record i, I mentioned earlier that i probably came into the project with maybe 15 or 16 ideas but but about five or six of those ideas felt like another record they didn't feel like what this record was shaping up to be but it also felt like i was one song short <laughs> you know what i mean i had eight really great tunes that that fit together as a as a body of work uh and also were great individual songs and i'm like shit i gotta i gotta write another tune you know and uh tyler suggested uh he's like man we should we should just cover goodbye that would be great your voice is really cool on it and the emotion in that song and it totally fits this body of work and i'm like you know what you're right let's do it and that's when vincent jones came into the picture a uh, friend of uh paul figueroa my longtime engineer and and uh and friend and uh vincent was so cool we went over to his garage and he laid that thing down in like a day I demoed the vocals. It felt great. We recut it the next day for the final tracks, and that's how it ended up on the record. You know, and me being in a me being a fan of Elton, I uh, you know I just I just wanted him I wanted him to hear it and see make sure he was okay with it. You know, so I sent it to him, and and uh, and he responded to it. He's like, yeah, 
fuck that's a really cool version of that tune i forgot what record that was on <laughs> i had to google myself is what he said they so. never know they never know i would say we the fans we yeah. know all of it yeah. they know none of yeah. it said mccartney I, I had mccartney to, doesn't I had know to, which i had to google myself yeah, mccartney doesn't know what's on rubber soul and what's on revolver we know that <laughs> right, stuff right it was all moving it was all moving too fast for mm-hmm. them but that was input to get his to get his blessing on that. Was yeah, important it's, to it's just cool. I mean, I didn't have to do that, but I just 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 out of respect, you know, and like I, I I wanted to make sure he was cool with it, and he and he was, and that that meant a lot. It's interesting how he, you know, you said such a so supportive of musicians. Oh yeah, the number of people who talk about. Yeah, you know. Well, he's a fan of music, man. You've seen the you've seen the, yeah, the yeah. videos of him walking through Tower Records with a box of you know re- what came out that week. He still does that, you know. Like he's guys, that's a it's admirable, you know. It's admirable uh, that that he's so interested and curious and supportive and and uh, it's amazing, you know, uh, to uh, have, be able to spend a little bit of time with him here and there. But what, you know? when you that first when you reached to him for. For that Alice song, um, what was what was that? I mean, you said you'd bounced off of him over over time before, but to go to yeah. him to ask for him to to work with you. Well, was in, that was a that was kind of just like a you know pie, pie in the sky, hail Mary kind of thing. Uh, my friend Tim Dawson is a great dude and a talented guy. Uh, has a band called The Acid Helps, I think, and he works with Tool a lot too. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he demoed a bunch of that record with me and, and he also plays keyboard. So he, he put down a little keyboard. I'm like, we need some keys on this. You know, it's like a, I'm hearing this as a keyboard song. And so he put down the demo and as we recorded the song, uh, that's, that's trippy. That's another connection. It's also the last song we recorded on Black Gives Way to Blue, mm-hmm. like Goodbye was on this record. So not um, just in the last spot, but also it, the last it, thing we it, cut. It literally was the last thing yeah. we cut. Uh, we cut that uh, We cut that song, and then we flew to Vegas because uh, while we were trying to figure out who we were going to ask to uh, you know, find a keyboard player to play it, our longtime assistant, Todd Chess, uh, he's like, why don't, you, why don't you ask Elton? And we're like... Yeah, right. You know, like I'm, I'm sure dude's got plenty of other stuff to do. Nothing you know, else like, going on. Hey, he's like, hey, man, you never know unless you ask. And I'm like, you know what? He's right. So I, you know, I, we we know some people in common. And Todd actually worked for Elton for a while. And uh, our, our uh, one of our other managers' uh, assistants, uh, Sherry Anderson, her husband tour manages Elton. So we we share people. And, uh, and I, wrote, I got his email address and I wrote him an email and I explained the importance of this song and you know we would it would mean a lot if he would consider you know playing on it and he responded and he's like yeah you know man I, I love that tune and I I really appreciate the sentiment that you're putting in there and what you guys have gone through and where you're going I would totally like to play on that so we flew out to Vegas and it was the last thing we recorded walked into I think it was a studio at the Palms and uh, we were supposed to meet him at a certain time, and he was late because his football team was like in, still in a match or something, you know. And uh, so it was kind of cool because we got to walk into the studio and uh, hang out for a bit before he showed up. And you know, one of the one of those real concrete memories uh, was walking into the room and seeing my my lyrics and my music on his piano. That was pretty heavy like oh my god <laughs> that's that was, for real that was pretty great yeah 